Hi, it's Rhonda Kuning back again with another file folder art journal page. I'm starting with a gessoed page and some spray inks in alcohol and ordinary uh, water soluble inks. Um, the copper colour one is a shimmers ink, the rest are um, alcohol inks and distress inks. That blue is uh, Broken China from Tim, Tim Holtz Distress Inks and the purple is the Dusty Concord. Adding some water on there to help them move around some and I'm now spraying them with some alcohol to make them move around even more. They look really good when they're wet but they fade so much when they're dry that I decided to go over the whole lot and of course I forgot to turn on the camera. I mixed together some blue acrylic ink and some broken china distress ink and some water and brushed it all on there and yeah I just sprayed some alcohol on there to make it move around some. It gets rid of the um, brush marks and now it's dry and I'm using some titanium white acrylic paint and a stencil. I'm only using a very light coat of the titanium white so that you can still see the blue through it. I actually expected the uh, distress ink to bleed through a lot more. It didn't. Maybe the um, having the acrylic ink mixed in with it helped with that and I'm tapping the brush up the top of the screen to get rid of the extra um, paint on it so that it doesn't bleed underneath although I still ended up with some bleeding underneath and I wipe the back of the stencil when I move it with a wet baby wipe so that I don't move any paint that's on the back onto the uh, rest of the page now it's dry, I've got a lead pencil and a blending stump and I'm just adding a nice shadow to that to give a three dimensional effect to these balloons that I've drawn in, painted in, stenciled in and just blending up to around halfway to give the effect of a three dimensional sphere rather than a circle and I do every single one but I don't make you watch me do every single one <laughs> otherwise this video would be a lot longer <laughs> now that's done I decided that the verse I'm using for this week is Romans 12 verse 9 which says hold on uh, which the last half of it says hold on to what is good and the balloons reminded me of when I was a kid and you get helium balloons and they fly up into nowhere if you let go of the string and so that's why I decided to put my hand in there I've been sketching my hand for a long time ever since I started drawing it was one of those things that was always there that I could draw when I was bored at school even I would draw my hand so now that sketch is in I'm uh, gessoing in trying to maintain some of the translucency so that I can see A so I can see the sketch and B so that still the background shows through a little bit so it's only a very thin coat and then I'm adding a, a second coat over where the highlights are so that it saves me in the shading I don't have to add the highlights later and now that's dry I've got a watercolour pencil well, I've got several watercolour pencils in different colours um, just so that the white hand stands out a little bit from the white balloons that are in the background and just drawing it all over I rubbed all over with the skin coloured orange colour and then added bits here and there of the other colours. I didn't end up using the white at all. And a wet paintbrush to smudge them together. And now that's dry I'm redoing the sketch with a black watercolour pencil, 
and a, a brown watercolour pencil for the shadows. I, I can still see the sketch underneath only just but it does help and of course I still have my hand there to draw it makes it easier now I, I know it's not a realistic sketch by any stretch of the imagination but you do know it's a hand and that was the the idea that it was to be obvious that it's a hand adding the shadows in and that um, grey thing is a kneadable eraser for those who don't have never seen one before uh, you find them in your local art supply shop and they are really great for when you're sketching because you can erase just a tiny bit by moulding the eraser into a, a sharp point or you can use it as a normal eraser and erase large areas now I'm adding the string of the balloon with a pit pen. I did a, a line and I'm going over it so it's uh, a thicker string like line. <laughs> string like, yep. That's a word. Now I'm uh, putting a highlight on those balloons with a little bit more titanium white. Because I've done such a thin coat of the titanium white before, I only need to add a little bit extra of that to give a, a nice highlight effect. And I just smudge it with my finger. And now I'm smudging the pencil with my blending stump, just so that it doesn't look so scribbly. Not that you can really see that on the video. But it, it just gives it a bit more dimension as well. And I decided I wanted to add uh, a black outline to it to make it stand out. And also because I'd used the black in the string. So I've got the pit pen there. It's the brush tip one. And I'm just outlining the major, like the fingers and the, and the outline. And I used a smaller uh, pen to just do those creases. Now I decided that I didn't like that black line for the string so I got some real string. It's actually cotton thread that you use for cooking with but hey it works and I used PVA uh, diluted PVA 50-50 with water to glue that down and this is my verse Romans 12 verse 9 and it says love serenely hate evil hold on to what is good and that is the verse put some more glue on that string because I wanted to make sure it stuck completely and it didn't really soak up very much of that glue like I thought it would and outlining with the pit pen and that is it done I hope you like it. Uh, if you want more details, have a look at the description or go to my website. Bye.